Hello friends, in this video we will talk about a stock solution, its simple description and some sample question. So let's begin. Stock solutions are concentrated solutions that will be diluted before use. That's the simplest definition of a stock solution. To solve its questions, we have formula C1 V1 is equals to C2 V2, where C1 is concentration 1, V1 is volume 1, C2 is concentration 2, and V2 is volume 2. Now we will see some sample questions. All questions in this video are from Pharmaceutical Calculation 13th edition by Harvard C. Ansel. We commonly call this book Ansel. So our first question says if 15 milliliters of a point 0.6% atrovent, ipratropium bromide, nasal spray, were diluted with 6 ml of normal saline solution, what would be the final drug concentration? Try to understand this question. We have 15 ml and 6 ml. We are combining it. So first we will add 15 milliliters and 6 milliliters. We got 21 milliliters as final volume. So our C1 is sorry, our V1 is 15 milliliters. C1 is 0.06%. We have V2 21 milliliters, which is final volume, and we want to know C2 that is concentration of final drug. When we calculate it, we got 0.043%. Next question. We have how many milliliters of water should be added to 375 milliliters of a solution containing 0.5 grams of benzyl conium chloride to make a 1 is to 5000 ratio strength solution. Now in this question, our, our final ratio strength concentration is 1 is to 5000. If 1 gram is in 5000 milliliters, so in how much milliliters we got 0.5 grams? Obviously, 2500 milliliters, but this one is the final volume of solution. We already have 375 milliliters. So, we subtracted from 2500 and we got 2125 milliliters. That much amount of water we will add in 375 milliliters. That will make our final volume 2500. And according to the question, we got the concentration of solution 1 is to 5000 ratio strength. In our next question, we have how many milliliters of water should be added to a pint of a 5% weight by volume solution? to make a 2% weight by volume solution. First we convert this pint into milliliters. One pint is equals to 473 milliliters. This is our V1, 5% is our C1, 2% is our C2 and we have to find out our V2. When we calculate it, we got 1,182. 5 milliliters. That is our final volume. We already have one pint that is 473 milliliters. 
when we subtract it from our final volume, we got 709.5 milliliters. This much amount we will add to get our final volume of 2% concentration. Now at this point, let's see this statement. One pint is equals to 473 milliliters. In my conversion videos, I told you that you just have to remember four or five things to cover all the conversion. I will give the link of that video in i button. If you didn't check, please check it. It is impossible to remember all the conversions. So among those list, if we convert from that list, we will do like this. One pint is equals to 16 play downs. One play downs is equals to 30 milliliters. So 16 play downs is equals to 480 milliliters. So if you remember that five listed conversions, you will easily convert it from one pint to milliliters in this way. And you will get the answer close to the real answer and in exam you will have option so you will have idea which option you have to choose this is a quick tip a survival tip you can say in exam if you don't know how much one pint is exactly equals to milliliters now in next question we have how many milliliters of water should be added to 300 milliliters of a 1 is to 750 weight by volume solution of benzyl conium chloride to make a 1 is to 2500 weight by volume solution. In this question, to make it easy, we convert this ratio strength into percentage strength. If you don't know how to convert it, I will put the link in i button. Please check that video. 1 is to 750 is equals to 0.133% and 1 is to 2500 is equals to 0.04%. Now when we put our values in formula, we got our C1. 0.133% multiply by 300 milliliters that is our V1. Now we have to find our V2 and our C2 is 0.04%. When we calculate it we got 997.5 milliliters which is approximately equals to 1000 milliliters. But we have to add water in 300 ml. So 1000 will be our final volume. We subtract 300 milliliters and we got 700 milliliters. So that much amount of water we will add to 300 milliliters and got the final required percentage. Next question is how many milliliters of 17% weight by volume concentration of benzyl conium chloride should be used in preparing 300 milliliters of a stock solution such that 15 milliliters diluted to 1 liter will yield a 1 is to 5000 solution. For these type of long question, I usually start backward. So how much concentration we have? 1 is to 5000. We converted into percentage strength 0.02% if 0.02 grams are in 100 milliliters how much we will have in 1 liter or 1000 milliliters we got 0.2 grams since this 15 ml were diluted in 1 liter so this 0.2 gram were initially in this 15 milliliters which were diluted lately so the statement says 0.2 gram in 15 milliliters if we have 0.2 gram in 15 milliliters 
how much amount we will have in 300 milliliters we got 4 grams and then we have another value 17 percent so 17 grams are in 100 milliliters how much we will how much lead uh, how much we will have 4 grams and how much liters when we calculate it we got 23.53 milliliters simply if you see these type of long question start from backwards that's the tip next question we have how many grams of sodium chloride should be used in preparing 500 milliliters of stock solution such that 50 ml diluted to 1000 ml will yield a 1 by 3 normal saline that is 0.3% weight by volume for irrigation. Do not get confused with this value. We get 0.3 grams in 100 milliliters. So how much grams in 1000 milliliters? 3 grams we get after calculation. And since this 50 milliliters were diluted to 1000 milliliters, this 3 gram were initially in 50 milliliters. If we have 3 grams in 50 milliliters, how much gram we will have in 500? When we calculate it, we got our answer 30 grams. That was required. Next question. How much drug should be used in preparing 50 milliliters of a solution such that 5 milliliters diluted to 500 will yield a 1 is 2000 solution? Similarly, we will go backward. 1 gram in 1000 milliliters. So how much in 500 milliliters? We got 0.5 grams. Since 5 ml were diluted to 500, so we will consider 0.5 grams in 5 ml. If we have 0.5 grams in 5 ml, then how much in 50 ml? We got 5 grams after calculation. Simple question. Next question. How many milliliters of a 1 is to 50 stock solution of phenylephrine hydrochloride should be used in compounding the following prescription phenylephrine at cl 0.25 percent rose water add 30 milliliters signature for for the nose so we have 1 is to 50 which is equals to 2 percent 2 percent percentage strength we have to find out our C1, we have, uh, sorry, V1, we have our C1, we put our C2, and then V2, when we calculate it, we simply got 3.75 milliliters. Next question. How many milliliters of a 1 is to 16 solution of sodium hypochlorite? should be added in preparing 5000 milliliters of a 0.5% solution of sodium hypochlorite for irrigation. 1 is to 16 multiplied by 100 that is how we can convert our ratio strength into percentage strength we got 6.25%. When we put our values in the formula xml into 6.25 percent c1 then 5000 v2 then 0.5 percent c2 when we calculate it we simply got 400 milliliters in next question how many milliliters of one percent stock solution of a certified red dye should be used in preparing 4000 milliliters of a mouthwash that is to contain 1 is to 20,000 weight by volume of the certified red dye as a coloring agent. First, we will convert 
1 is to 20,000 into percent strength. We got 0.005%. When we put all the values in our formula, we got 20 ml. In our next question, we have how many milliliters of a 1 is to 400 weight by volume stock solution should be used in preparing 1 gallon of a 1 is to 20 weight, by, sorry, 1 is to 2000 weight by volume solution. First, we will convert this, is, this 1 gallon, then we will convert these into percent. So, 1 is to 400 is equals to 0.25 percent 1 is to 2000 is equals to 0.05 percent 1 gallon is equals to 3785 milliliters you can remember this or you can convert on your own it depends on you how would you like to do that when we put everything in our formula we got 757 milliliters that's another simple example now, next question we have, how many milliliters of 1 is to 400 weight by volume stock solution should be used to make 4 liters of 1 is to 2000 weight by volume solution? Similarly, as we have done in previous question, we will convert it into percentage strength. 1 is to 400 is equals to 0.25%. 1 is to 2000 is equals to 0.05%. 4 liters is 4000 milliliters. Put all the values in the formula and we got 800 milliliters. These were some simple questions for a stock solution. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Thanks. Bye for now.